my finances hopeless uh, that Lord I need to beg to eat uh, that I need to stand on somebody's word before I can make it uh. this morning Lord I declare this morning I declare I declare in the name of Jesus I pray in the name of Jesus that Lord in the form of darkness uh, let the spirit of the Lord uh, visit it visit it visit it now in the form of darkness uh, that is keeping me away from what the Lord has for me in the darkness uh, that is keeping me from marking time. Therefore, I declare in this favor, Lord, step out for me. Lord, step out and single me out. Let your light come. I declare that the spirit of the Lord shall hover around my condition. Every darkness in my life, let the spirit of the Lord change it. Change it. Change it. Let the spirit of the Lord change it now. Darkness over the education of my children. Darkness over the condition of my relationship. I declare in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus that I will walk under the power and the power of God. Not any other thing. But I activate the divine favor of God that will cause the darkness to vanish. That will cause the darkness to leave. I declare that kindness will come through me because darkness have left rakotaye kapante asuko ati atelele kaprakataya kendelele kibrakatorolo sikrege talia tekini adandi abatavale pando adi adenge zeata patolie telelele teriata labatende katia mankan senka tonto asante atayata kabaya papaya balabarete tele pipiria telele kaprakataya ba if god will come into favor you if god will come into favor you Remember that when Jesus was baptized, he says, Behold, this is my son, in whom I am well pleased. And the favor of God came over Jesus when John the Baptist was baptizing Jesus. And it was not a voice of man. It was not the voice of man. If it was the voice of man, we could have said something else. But it was the voice of God. It was the voice of God. That this is my son in whom I am well pleased and favored. There is a voice that causes a lot of shaking. And if you know that voice, your life will become. Lift up your voice and declare. I declare the Lord in the form of darkness. I declare in the form of darkness. In the form of darkness that is causing me. Let the spirit of God expose. Now, what's something that happened with the spirit of God? When the spirit of God comes in the book of in the book of Matthew, chapter 3, and reading from verse number 16 to 17. Now, watch this one. It says, After the baptism, after his baptism, we're talking about verse 15 says, But Jesus said, It shall be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. So John agreed to baptize. Jesus. Verse 16. He says, after his baptism, as Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens were open. The heavens were open. I declare an open heaven over your head. And when darkness confessed, Jesus Christ was walking under the, under the heavens. He was walking on the surface of the earth. But heavens were not open to Jesus Christ. The heavens were shattered because darkness was over him. Because he has come in a form of man. And he needed the grace and the favor of God so that he can be single out. Many people were baptized. A lot of people came for the baptism. But heaven was open now that the spirit of the Lord came out. The spirit of the Lord is what I am talking about this morning. That your favor is coming by the spirit of the Lord. May the favor of God hit you harder than ever before, your yeah, friend. May the spirit of the Lord hit every dark condition of your heart that every darkness that is covering your heart that whatever you wish to do before God calls you and darkness is covering it from your mother's side from your father's side may it be uncovered now. May the spirit of the Lord uncover it. Uncover it. Uncover it over your life. Bible says that and when Jesus has gone through the baptism as he came up 
out of the water. The heavens were open. Declare, I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that as I walk through this weekend, oh Lord, as I step up out of this week, uh, as I step out of my house, uh, as I walk out of my house, uh, let the heavens be open. Let the heavens be open uh, as I lift up my voice and I pray. Father, may every darkness vanish and the heavens open over my head. Let the heavens be open over my head. Let the heavens be open over my head. Katoria Keri Bakatayata. Lift up your voice, somebody, and declare. Ah, let the heavens be open over my head. As I step out this week, Lord, I claim that Lord, you will favor me differently. Pray somebody. Favor is God selecting you, singling you out of many. Father, I pray that you single me out of many. Single George Luton out of a lot of counselors. Single George Luton out of a lot of preachers. Single me out of a lot of fathers. A lot of husbands. A lot of male. A lot of sons. A lot of firstborns. Katoria ketia banda kasin ketaya taprataya. Single me out. Let the heavens be open unto me. Let the heavens be open unto me. Let every darkness over my star be exposed. Be exposed. Be exposed. Be exposed. Let every darkness causing my heavens not to be seen. Kayate. 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 Kaya. Kayate. Kaya. Katoria tekede. I declare in the name of Jesus that I shall be exposing. I shall be exposed. Every darkness over my life has come to an end. Has come to an end. Bible says, and when Jesus was stepping out, the spirit of the, the, the and and he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and settling on him. The spirit of the Lord is able to take off darkness. This time it came like a dove and it settled on the head of Jesus. I declare this morning over you that as you step out of your house, the spirit of the the Lord will settle on you like a dove. He will settle on your condition that every darkness shall be exposed. Every darkness shall be exposed. Say in the name of Jesus, Oh Lord, let your voice from heaven permeate through the darkness. Let the voice of the Lord speak over me. He says, the voice from heaven said, this is my dearly loved son who will bring me joy. When the spirit exposed the darkness, then creation began. Why would darkness cover something that there's nothing in it? Bible says the thief came to steal, the thief came to kill and to destroy. And you ask yourself, what do I have for a thief to come and steal? But the Bible says that that is the purpose, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. I don't know if you've read it before. It says, for we we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities in dark places. There is nothing that can be found genuine in dark places. For in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 12, <laughs> it says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the supernatural forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood. So you are looking at a man refusing to give you visa. You are looking at a man refusing to give you the favor. You are looking at a man refusing to bless you. You are looking at a man who is refusing to make way for you. We are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities that we need to show them power so that out of the power they will know that there is a God that can separate the Egyptian from the Israelites. For my Bible says that in the same land of Egypt, there was darkness at the 
Egyptian side and there was light at the side and there was light at the side of the Israelites. I came to tell somebody, anybody standing on your document, sitting on your document, holding your document, may the light of God strike them like thunder. Let the light of God strike them. May they be stricken down with light. And the Lord God didn't cry. When the spirit of the Lord hovered around the deep and the emptiness and the formlessness, and because God wanted favor, he came to verse number three. He says, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. And there was light. You are commanding the oh Lord, every struggle I'm struggling through, in the darkness that is carrying power, let there be light. 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 Come on, let there be light. Let there be visibility. Every darkness over my life. Let there be light. 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 I declare light, 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 light. And the Lord God called forth lights. He didn't cry about the condition. God was not confused about the condition. He didn't create darkness, but darkness came to cover what the Lord is doing and made his condition hopeless and shapeless. You are becoming useless not because of anything. But somebody have decided to do something in dark places. Now hear it. He says that for we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Enemies, but but evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against mighty powers in the dark world. So there is a dark world that light must permeate and bring visibility. You are praying and say, Lord, as I lift up my voice and I pray, I call forth light. I call forth light. Let there be light. Let there be light over my health. Let there be light over my health. Bible says the woman was with the issue of blood for 12 solid years. When her money got finished, she encountered the light called Jesus. Because Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He is the light of the world. So when the woman was in darkness, her sickness was a dark world. An evil person brought bleeding into her life. It was not menstruation. It was a bleeding for 12 solid years. And I came to tell somebody, wherever you are bleeding, you need to encounter the light of God. She went behind the crowd. She was an outcast. There was nothing good about her because of her stinking smelling bloody body so she was not able to do anything but she was not a lazy woman bible says she has gone to visit a lot of doctors and her money was finished she didn't have anything to boast of again she didn't have anything again that she can use there was nothing she can use to become who she was she had money she was not poor but the sickness made her poor the doctors took money but had no solution for her problem until one day she encounter Jesus, the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. Arakaya. <laughs> I say Jesus is the light of the world. Because let me, let, me, let me tell you something. In the book of John chapter 8 verse number 12, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. He said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk it will never walk in darkness, but will have light of life. John chapter 8 verse number 12. So when the woman had the issue of blood, and as I wrap up today, when the woman had the issue of blood, the problem was there. She needed favor, and the favor will come through the light. 
Ah, I don't know who I'm talking to. She needed favor from above. And the favor from above was made clear. There was a distinguished nature. This woman has suffered. This woman has gone through a lot. But when she encountered the light, when she had an opportunity to visit the light, when the light came on her, instead of exposing what is in the dark places, the light caused every sickness to leave. I pray for some somebody this morning that as you are about to pray the light of God let there be light if Jesus is the light I introduce Jesus into my finances I declare oh Lord because you are the light let your light shine let your light shine over my sickness over my poverty say in the name of Jesus say in the name of Jesus as I lift up my voice and I pray oh Lord let your light let your light uh, that changes condition your light that is Jesus uh, bring me life in whatever is dead uh, death in my finance death in my health death in my marriage death in my relationship death in every area of my life uh, death in the life of my children let that be light let that be light let that be light lift up your voice and declare father in the name of Jesus your word makes it clear for me to understand uh, that you are the light of this world. Uh, you are the light that came into this world and brought a change. Uh, therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus, let your light shine in me now. Let your light fall on me now. Your light will give me life. Uh, let your light bring life into every dead thing in my life. Uh, dead finances, let them be resurrected. Uh, that if the woman with the issue of blood encountered your garment of light uh, and you gave that garment of light and approval for healing. Therefore, I walk through the crowd. I walk through the dark clouds in this dark world that let there be light over my business. Let there be light over who I am. In my counseling fraternity, I need light and favor. Let light fall and bring me favor. Let help locate me. I declare that let light come over my children. Let them be different on campus. May a man favor my children because of light. May a a man favor my wife because of light. May a man favor my friends because of light. Lord, if on my table, because people joined my table unknowingly, they were given the special service that I was supposed to be given. Therefore, I pray today, whoever will encounter my light, will encounter you and your life. Let every dead thing in my life resurrect now. Let every dead thing in my life resurrect now. Death finances resurrect. Death conditions resurrect. Let me become the topic at the top. May I not lose focus. Let me be focused in all that I do. I pray that Lord, wherever treasures are hidden, let it be given unto me. And I will show you where treasures are hidden in dark places. Father, Father, in the form of treasure that is hidden, let your light expose it for me. Get your bottle of oil. Next thing we are, we are doing a direction with the oil now. The direction has come and it's supposed to be coming at the end of the month of February. Now pick up a bottle of oil as you get ready with your communion. Because you're going to pray this last prayer. Put the oil in your palm. And anoint yourself. One. Anoint yourself. Two. Anoint yourself. Three. That's all I want you to do. As you anoint yourself with oil, I declare that your cup will run over. I declare that favor will hit you as you anoint yourself. As you anoint yourself this morning, you will have a different nature altogether. For in, in the prayer I'm going to pray is found in the book of Isaiah chapter number 45. And this will be your last prayer. Isaiah chapter number 45 and I'm reading from verse number 3. He says, I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places so that you may know that I am the Lord and the God of Israel who summoned you by your name. Now watch it, watch it. I love the new, new living translation. It says, 
Isaiah chapter 45, and I'm reading first verse number three. Now watch it. He says, I will give you treasures hidden in the darkness. I will give you treasures hidden in darkness, secret riches. I will do this so you may know that I am the Lord. I will give you treasures hidden in dark places. Dark places are, he says, I will give you treasures of darkness and the riches hidden in secret places. I will give you treasures. I will give you treasures of darkness and riches hidden in secret places. Your prayer this morning is simple. Oh Lord, as you introduce light, may every treasure, may every riches that is hidden in dark places be exposed by your light for me. May this oil on me be a light unto the world. Let this oil illuminate my path. Let this oil be Bring me visibility. Let this oil bring me visibility. Where treasures are hidden in dark places. Treasures of ideas. Treasures of ideas. Every idea that is folding up in my life. As this oil touches my forehead, I connect to the altar and declare, let the darkness vanish. Let the darkness disappear. That treasures are hidden in dark places. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, as I lift up my voice and I pray, every hidden treasure in dark places, uh, let your light expose us. Every hidden treasure that is delaying my favor, that is delaying my cause, uh, I declare, Lord, let it be exposed. As I drink your blood, eat your body, and anoint myself with oil, uh, I declare that, Lord, every darkness that is covering my head, let it be exposed. Let it expose my treasure. May the treasure that is hidden in dark places be exposed. Lift up your voice and pray this your last but one prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your word in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 45, I pray this morning a prayer of faith. And I declare, Lord, that you will give me treasures of darkness and hidden worth. I pray that every dark situation that is delaying my treasures, every dark situation that has kept my, my has kept kept my favor. Every dark situation that has kept whatever will make me who I am. I pray this morning according to your word. Let darkness vanish. Let darkness vanish. Expose my treasures. Pray. Where are the prayer warriors? Pray. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer this morning. Declare prayer over your finances, over your health. Lord, let the light of God come to expose every hidden treasure in my life. Lord, be that light that I am looking for. Let it be that light that I'm looking for. Every darkness that is covering my treasure, every darkness that is covering my favor, every Every darkness that is covering who I am, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let it be exposed. Let it be exposed. Let it be exposed. Let it be exposed. Show me where darkness is, and I will find my treasure now. Expose the darkness for the sake of my my favor. Now, in the name of Jesus. Now, in the name of Jesus. So shall it be for me. Therefore, I speak that the oil shall be a light on my forehead. I shall look it. Where darkness has hidden my treasure. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is a light unto your path. And a lamp unto your feet. In this your final prayer. You want to pray this prayer. And this is your last prayer. That as you take the blood of Jesus this morning. This shall be your prayer. Let this word of God that you have heard. He says in the book of Psalm 119 verse 105. He says, your word is a lamp to guide my feet. And a light for my path. You are going to pray as you walk through this week. Father, as I walk through this week. My Monday. My Tuesday. My Wednesday. My Thursday. My Friday, as I walk through this week, Lord, let your word be a lamp for my feet. 
let your word be a lamp unto my feet and what is the word the word is simple in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse number 15 it says that no one lights a lamp and hides it under a bowl but will put it on a lampstand for everyone to see this is your word unto me Bible says your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you now watch it <laughs> it is not about the sin but in Psalm 119 verse 10 to 5 it says that the heart is where God is looking at for I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you Psalm 119 verse number 10 and 13 if you read it carefully he said the whole heart I have sorted thee and I have hidden your word and verse number I love verse number 11 he says I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you Psalm 119 verse number 11 I have hidden your word so there should be a word in your heart as you walk through this week there should be a word in your heart you understand what I'm saying because the Bible says that out of the abundance of the mouth the heart the mouth speaks out of the abundance of the heart the mouth will speak out of the abundance of the heart the mouth will speak I don't know about you out of the abundance of the heart because in the book of Matthew chapter number 12 verse 34 I want to encourage you to believe that there is something that you have to hide and that is the word of God because it says that your word is a lamp to my feet and it is still a light unto my path so in all the prayer we have prayed this week all you need is a word and what is a word the word is that the lamp will not be hidden under a bowl my light will not be hidden for lord you will single me out of the a lot you will single me out of the lot i want to read for you in the book of matthew chapter number 12 and look at verse number 34 i love 34 he says you matthew chapter number 12 and i'm reading verse number 34 for out of the outflow verse b it says for out of the overflow of the heart the mouth speaks for out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks out of the abundance of the heart what is in your heart is what will speak out of your mouth what is in your heart this week don't confess anything negative don't walk and give negative confession let your confession be positive let your confession be positive i am favored by god the light of god is over me your final prayer it says father in the name of jesus as i drink your blood this morning and eat your body i introduce into my life now get your communion ready get the body of jesus and the blood of Jesus as you dine and pray this prayer. You are going to pray and say, in the name of Jesus, I hold on to your word as I lift up my voice and I pray. Father, your word have I hidden in my heart that I am not going to hide under a bowl. I shall be exposed by light. Your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Your word have I hidden in my heart that I will speak positive. I shall meet a man with favor this week. As I take your blood, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the blood make a distinction between myself and my Egyptians. That in the book of Exodus chapter number 10 and verse number 23, Bible says, and when Moses stretched his rod to the sky, 
What happened in the sky was simple. It was a sky business that when Moses stretched the rod, darkness covered Egypt for 72 hours. But in the place where the Israelites were living, in Goshen there was light. Say, Father, as I pray this morning, let the light of Goshen be in where I live. As I walk through my Monday, as I walk through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday till I sit before you again. Let the light that appeared in Goshen, let it appear for me. Let the light of God appear for me. Let your word bring me this light that will cause me to walk. Let it be a lamp on my feet. Let the word that came out, that Lord, I shall be the head and not the tail. I shall become favored. You will favor me and honor me as I walk through this week. As I eat your body, I lift up the body of Jesus and declare this is the body of Jesus. As you eat the body and want to pray, Father, I eat this body that your light will become part of me. Eat it, the body of Jesus. As you chew the body, may the Lord introduce light into your system. Hmm. A light that will make difference with the oil. Therefore, I lift up the oil this morning. I lift up the blood of Jesus as well. That as you drink the blood of Jesus, if there was light in Goshen, you will have light the whole of this week. If there was light in Goshen, you have light the whole of this week. As the blood of Jesus enters the body of Jesus in your system, you have eaten the body of Jesus. Therefore, I introduce light with the blood of Jesus. Drink this blood of Jesus. Now you have taken the body and the blood. Dip your hands into the blood. And you are going to pray your final prayer with this blood. Put the blood on your head. Three times. Three times. Now, put your hands on your head and let's go. This is your prayer. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, there was light in Goshen. Even though there was darkness in the whole of Egypt. Separate us from the dark world. As I walk through this week, oh Lord, by your blood on me, by your oil on me, in your body, in my body, may my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, let me see the light of the world. You say you'll be a light unto my path and you'll be a lamp unto my feet. Therefore, I declare, let your light come for me now. Let your word be a lamp on my feet. May my feet not hit any wrong place. As I lay my hands on my head, I introduce your word. I introduce your light. Let my children encounter light. Let any darkness vanish, 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 vanish in the name of Jesus. As you have prayed this prayer, I declare over your life that you encounter light. Whatever is dark over you, your education, your finances, your marriage, your health. I introduce a light. Amen. This week you will walk under the lamp of the word of God. Amen. That it is well. Amen. That it is well. Amen. That it is well. Amen. You will break through. Amen. Men will favor you. Amen. Women will favor you. Amen. Children will favor you. Amen. The places you least expect people to appear, they will appear for you. Amen. As you walk under the covering, may light be part of your path. Amen. You will not find darkness in your life. Amen. Light has come for you. Amen. I declare favor. I declare favor. I declare favor. I declare favor. I declare favor over you. That you will come back with testimony. I release you in the path of righteousness. That the Lord will lay you a table in the presence of your enemies. Ah, yet though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, fear will not be part of you because it's your light and your salvation. I release you in this blessing. Go. And prosper 
go and shine go and eliminate your light has come favor has located you somebody will ask you who is your father somebody will ask you who is your mother somebody will ask you which family do you belong to this week is a week of favor for you and you will come back with testimony I say this to the glory of the Lord that your testimony will be bounty it will be bigger than ever before through your children you shall be favored through your husband you shall be favored through your house self you shall be favored because Bible says that that slave girl in the house of Naaman was able to have favor with the madam and told the madam let let master obey and bath in this dirty water and at the end of the dirty water there was a change I pray change just came to you every darkness has vanished darkness from your mother's side darkness from your father's side they are gone favor just hit you may the Lord bless you may the Lord keep you may his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you be thou figured under the light in Jesus name Amen God bless you so much for being part of our service today whatever it is remember God is still in the business of doing what is right may you be blessed pick up your offering this morning you want to give to God an offering it's very very important to know that giving to God is important and I always tell people that you want to give to God and you, you want to dip your hands into your bags, into your pocket, and want to release an offering unto God this morning. Because he's able to do exceedingly far above more than you can ever do. Get your offering this morning, I want to give to God. I, I'm looking for my offering. I want to give God an offering too. Wherever you are, you want to give God an offering, dip your hands into your bags and look for your offering. Get your offering this morning. If you want to do online, check online and then get get the numbers online. Get the numbers online this morning. As you give to God an offering, pick up your offering wherever you are. And pick up the offering and know 055 is the number. You want to give to God an offering, 055 Mary, type the numbers for them. Mary, type the numbers for them. Lift up your offering above your head. Say in the name of Jesus, with this offering out of my wallet, on my mobile wallet with this offering in my hands i declare in the name of jesus that i will encounter grace i will encounter favor money will not be a problem for me because money is currency it shall be current in my life i shall have what to spend as i release this money as an offering may i never get short of money let money go and let money come let money go and let money come let money go and let money come in jesus name amen then we'll send your monies as you drop your money with me this money i received their money and i i i father i lift up this offering before you and i declare that as this offering comes to you you receive it just like those who have put the number on on, on the on the phone for them the numbers are there but they are not seeing zero five five zero 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 five zero seven seven as i lift up this offering before you oh lord let the fire from heaven come to consume this offering. Let it consume it and make a difference in their life. I declare over the life of those who have given that they will never lose. Forever, they will see favor. Therefore, this morning we pray and declare that money will not be a burden for you. As you release this money, Lord, receive it and bless your people. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, God bless you for being part of my service today. Let me say a big thank you to all those who have supported us. Thank you for being here, Iman and Mary. I've missed you so much. Thank you. I've seen you today. Ken, you came late. Now you come too late. Change your lifestyle. Let the light fall on you. You come early. That God will give you favor. Emmanuel, I'm still waiting for you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, Frank, God bless you. The birthday, madam. Uh, she's still rainy in her birthday. Tomorrow happens to be a birthday of another hard-working, young, beautiful, illustrious girl of the land. Tomorrow, I just had it on Wednesday. I didn't know she's a Valentine baby. That's why she loves some Valentine things. You know, tomorrow happens to be the Valentine celebration in the whole wide world. And fortunately for her, she was born on Valentine's Day. Uh, Doreen Equia Free, the media, uh, the media relation officer for diasporadate.com. Doreen, tomorrow happens to be your birthday. And I take this opportunity and pray for you that whatever you desire God to do for you, may it come to pass in the name of Jesus. I wish you a happy birthday. Please join me tomorrow and let's appreciate her on all the pages like we do for everybody. Tomorrow is her birthday. We want to celebrate her. 
She was hiding it from me, but I've gotten the clue right now. It's too late, but don't hide your babies from me. After what? And when you work with people, it's not every time that you can appreciate them, but these are the times that we can appreciate them on their birthdays and on their celebrations. Birthdays are the best celebrations that I can do for people. I can't celebrate your wedding anniversary for you, and what again can I celebrate? So we want to celebrate Doreen Equia tomorrow, and we want to say thank you to her. She's a very hardworking person. I mean, through the jobs that we did. I mean, fortunately for me, all the people... I recruit around myself to work. Uh, they do what they are supposed to do well. And she's done well with me. We've been able to hit 2 million people. So strange. 2 million people in less than two months with her publicity and an effort for us to do the Aspera Date. And the Aspera Date team will want to use me to wish you a happy birthday if you're watching. Doreen, a queer, a free. Tomorrow is your birthday. May God bless and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. As you add on to this new age of your life, I don't know your age yet, because it, it's not, I don't know which one is the football age, but you have to tell us tomorrow. I don't know what you are doing tomorrow, but I'll get a clue. Keep hiding it. Definitely we'll get it. If you don't want to invite me, it's okay. But I mean, what is this? Happy birthday to you during a queer, a free year. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you for wishing her for me. Tomorrow, let's all blast it the way we do for everybody. Doreen, a queer free year. Her page is there. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Doreen, to you in advance. So tomorrow is her birthday. And we'll celebrate her on the Valentine's Day. God bless you. God bless you for being part of my service today. Let me tell all of you that we are still doing our best. On the 25th day of March, we are doing party for celebrate palsy mothers and children, putting a smile on their face. We do it every year. On 25th of March, we are doing it. Your donations are welcome. And this morning, let me say a big thank you to all my supporters and my able people who through them we can bring life onto you. If you don't have life, if you don't have life from me, it means that the supporters have gone to sleep. But thanks be to God that they are not sleeping. They have brought us hope so we can do something. The first one, I want to say a big thank you to Tonga Tali, Tonga Tali, Tonga Tali, Tonga Tali Capsules. It's still in the market. It's still doing the wonderful business. Bachona Total Filling Station. These are for men. And it comes with a tea as well. So Tonga Tali Capsules and Ginseng Coffee Tea for men. Good circulation in your heart so that your male organ will work well. Go for Tonga Tali. If you are in Takrade, go to Anaji Estate Choice Mart. If you are in Kumasi, go to Poku Trading. And if you are in Accra, you can go to Spinktest Bachelor Total Filling Station or call me on 0277-609-644. Tonga Tali Capsules and Ginseng coffee. The same way we have the Tonga Tali green tea. And this green tea will cause your pot belly to bend down all the fat so that you become flat tummy gold. Flat tummy gold. You use Tonga Tali ginseng, uh, Tonga Tali green tea and it will come down for you. The same way if you are a woman who have lost your taste and sexual drive, you need a pink one like this and your sexual drive will come back at once immediate by force. Vicro 20. Vicro 20. Vicro 20. Vicro 20 is the best immune booster that has come to save all of us. Vical 20 is in all pharmaceutical shops. And thanks be to God, yesterday, uh, uh, from Friday, it was a good time that they laid their, their, their grandmother to rest. It was a good funeral service that grandchildren have done for grandmother. It was awesome. And it, it makes a lot of sense. Thank you very much, Dr. Manfre and uh, Harris. Harris saying, you all did so well. Grandma say thank you to you for burying her, giving her that befitting barrier. Vicro 20 is from Joy Industries. Joy Industries have brought the best thing in town. Drink one and you will never regret you did. Vicro 20, the best immune booster. If you want one and you don't get it in the pharmacy shop, call me on 0277-609-644. Femi Bless. Femi Bless is for all women who are going through challenges of having eggs so they can become pregnant. Your menstrual cycle is becoming basa, 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 basa. All you need is Femi Bless. It's from Light Farmer. It's in all pharmacy shop. If you go and say you're looking for Femi Bless, it's a syrup. Drink it and your life will never be the same again. The same way the new best friend, your teeth is aching you, your gum is bleeding, and you don't know what to do with it. All you need is Femi Bless. It's, it's the NMBF, new best friend. Ginger Bell toothpaste, NBF gel. Is new best friend. Is the new best friend ginger bell gel. Just put it on the gum. The swollen gum will vanish. The gem in the teeth will go. Jemmy check, jemmy check, jemmy check. You can use it to brush your teeth. All you need is called the ginger bell gel. It's in all pharmacy shop as well. Go for it. Finally, 
Finally, people are now struggling to look for it, but it has come to your doorstep closer than ever before. Ginger honey chips in America. Please order for it now. Send a WhatsApp right now. I'm speaking to you on 862-215-2007. 862-215-2007. If you even send a message it's not going through, just give a call and we'll call you back on 277 609-644. And this one is in the whole United States of America. Central African market in Yonkers, you can get some. The Queen Supermarket in Connecticut, you can get some. And a and h a and h also, uh, a and h uh, restaurant in New Jersey, you can get some. Everywhere you go, if you see the brown pack like this, with this writings on it, it is for our consult in support of our foundation. Buy one for us in America. Order for one, and your winter will become a better winter. This is ginger honey chips, and the medicinal value, I don't want to share it with you. Experience it and share it as well. The same way in Ghana, it's in this bottle. You can order for yours now, even want to sell more. Go everywhere, you find ginger honey chips like this in a bottle like this. It is coming from us as a product. Call us on 0277-609-644 and order yours now. God bless you for being part of today's service. I am grateful you came. And I love you so much. But remember, God loves you more than I do. My love will have a question mark. But the love of God is greater than any other thing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Let your week become prosperous. Remember, you have a word. And the word is that I am the light of this world. I am the light of this world. No darkness can cover me. I walk under the light. I produce light. I am visible. Nothing can be hidden. As I walk this week, let favor be my portion. Lord, single me out of their lot and favor me and honor me in Jesus' name. God bless you. I'll see you again in a few hours on the same page. Thank you for being part of the service. God bless you and good morning.